Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be talking about um so this is gonna be like the fourth tutorial of this series. Today we're gonna be doing the say command and the giveaway command. So what the say command is gonna do is if we put right here. Alright, so if we do question mark say hello, it will just say that we said hello. And then what the giveaway is gonna do is for example giveaway um Steam account and then it would send to a giveaway channel um uh whatever I type to you. Alright. So first things first we are gonna pretty much just copy the same exact thing right here. Just like the bot that on. So we're just gonna copy this and then put it right here. Change this and we're just gonna start with the say command. So then just delete that and that. Alright. So what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna do message dot channel uh, channel dot send. Alright, so this what this is gonna do is it's gonna find the message uh, and the channel that it's gonna send it to. We've already went over this before. And then here's what we're gonna type. So we're gonna we're gonna put the one that's next to the one so we can put in functions and then we're gonna type in message received from and then we're gonna put message dot author and what this is gonna do is it's gonna say message received from message dot author. So here I'll introduce you guys to something new. So if you do like um, backslash n, this would go to like the next line. So here let me show you an example. So for example, f and then if we go like this, this this is what n is gonna do. It's gonna like just go to the next line. So then we'll just bring this over here. So, and then we're gonna do n, and then we're gonna type in space, and then args. Oh crap! Args dot args dot source. So what this is gonna do? Oh wait here, and then one. So let me just explain what this is gonna do first. So. As we said, it's gonna like remove the. It's gonna like remove the thing for it to where uh, it sends the arg. So what we're gonna need to do for that is make it to where it slices the question mark, because we don't need that question mark. So then um, what we're gonna need to do, and then dot slice, and then we're gonna do dot join. This is just gonna enter. And then we're gonna go like this and then put in the space. Alright. So now, if we were to go like this, let's test it out. Uh, Alright. Wait, we shouldn't be using this. Here, start all that. Alright. So now, we to say hello. So now it will say this is received from not clapping because I'm the one who did that command and it says hello. So now let's move on to the giveaway command and we're just gonna send this off. Alright. So what we're just gonna do is just like I said, just copy this and then go and then go like this. Then remove and then type in. Alright. Then type in give away. So first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna let let giveaway channel equal oops equal message dot guild dot channels dot find and then we're gonna find the name. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna find like the name of a channel, which we're gonna name give, we're gonna put space and then give always. So now what we need to do is you see that this name right here, here we'll just copy this. All right, so we're gonna need to make a new channel and then name it giveaways. And then now, uh, it's gonna keep it like that. 
Alright, so first things first, we're gonna do let reward equal args one. So what this is gonna do is I said as I defined uh args before, so this is the first I mean it's like this zero arg and then one is gonna be whatever is put in here. So this is gonna be the reward pretty much. So now well actually you what you can do is you can just do uh equal um args dot slice and then pretty much you're gonna need to slice the question mark giveaway so if we you just need like pretty much a counter i have a counter in my discord so i'll just put it like this and for me it would be nine excuse me all right so args dot slice um so we're gonna do nine because that's how much args are supposed to get sliced so what the slice is gonna do is it's gonna remove nine characters in the beginning of that well actually we should probably make that 10 just because of the space so 10 is good so now what we're gonna need to do is go to the next line and do if and then so you're gonna put an exclamation point and then give away give away channel so what this is gonna do is if there's no giveaway channel you're gonna return and then we're gonna type in message dot channel dot send. And then we're gonna so if there isn't a giveaway channel, this is what it's gonna say. So I'm just gonna put there is no uh so we're gonna put this as I told as I showed you guys before. Just to like put these, you would have to like put a backslash and then giveaway and then backslash and then channel. Uh, okay, and then what we're gonna need to do next is F. I mean, if <laughs> um, there's no reward, uh, then return message dot channel dot send provide a reward as the first arg. Or actually, here we can just put provide a reward. All right. So then what we're gonna need to do is I'm gonna introduce you guys to something called embeds. So pretty much what embeds are is like, it pretty much is just like a link, except there is no link. It just makes it like look uh, fancy. So if you guys wanna know more about embeds, you guys can check like in the description. I'll put a link for the embed documentation. documentation. So for here, we're gonna do giveaway and then embed. So this is gonna this is just gonna be the name for the usage and then equal new. I'm gonna put discord dot rich embed. Make sure the capitalization is right. Now just open this and then we're gonna type in dot set title. So this is gonna make the title of the embed. And we are gonna make the title uh give away um bye and then we're gonna type in message dot message dot author dot username so this is gonna get the author's username that provided this command and it's gonna get the username instead of just mentioning them because it would look weird on the embed so now what we need to do is set footer this is like the like the last line of it and we're gonna type in react to join the giveaway and then we're gonna dot add field. Oops. Dot add field. We're gonna type in. Oh. We're gonna type in. So message. Message dot author dot username is hosting a give away for. And then we're gonna type in. Like this, we're gonna put a comma, and we uh, we're gonna put a comma after this, because pretty much what you need to do 
for the add field is it has two lines. So this is going to be the first line and then there's going to be a second line like the um, the end that we did for the say command. And then we're going to put a comma. This is going to be the second line. So then it's going to say reward. So this is just pretty much going to say the reward that you have right here that you listed. All right. So now we're going to put in giveaway channel dot send embed wait here dot send embed so this is gonna get the giveaway oh wait I'm gonna put a dot over here all right so this is just gonna pretty much send the embed that we put right here to the giveaway channel which we provided right here and then we're gonna type in uh giveaway embed and then I'm just gonna put a dot then and then message uh, as I showed you guys this before and then we're gonna use an arrow function and then uh, what is the problem oh All right. so then we're gonna just do message react and then we you need to find like a party emoji so here let me find one real quick uh, okay so let's go over here All right. so we're just gonna put as we said before and okay that is not a part of discord so let's look for the emoji here uh let's see if we can find it i'm pretty sure i used one before so uh there it is all right so we're just gonna put a backslash oh Alright, and then now we can just copy and paste this, then go to Visual Studio, and then type this in. So just make sure there's no spaces. And then that's just gonna pretty much save that. And then now, if this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I would send um, uh, an at everyone, so you don't even have to at everyone. It's just gonna do it for you. So now let's just test out the command. Uh, start dot back and uh, wait for that. All right, and then we can type in giveaway. All right, so if we type in giveaway, uh, and it closed. Oh yeah, also one thing you guys need to do so this doesn't close once it crashes is type in pause in all caps. So now it will actually show you the error instead of just closing right away. So let's just find out what the error is. Uh, Discord, push mark, giveaway. And let's see what the error is. All right. So uh, rich embed field values may not be empty. So wait, uh, giveaway, and then hello. Uh, oh wait, let me keep stuff. Uh, here. Hello. And it didn't work again. So there is a problem at seventy three. Okay. Uh, seventy three. Okay. So that ad field is hosting a giveaway. Okay, it's hosting it for for a work. Uh, logs. Oh, we should put join here, and then dot slash. Alright, now this should work. Uh, giveaway, and then log dot join dot slash is not a. Okay, wait. Uh. Into here. I'm so sorry about that, guys. So we're just gonna put. We can just join here, and then yeah. So let's try that. And there. So it says provide a reward. So then if you do giveaway, uh. Let's just do Steam 
account. Uh, provider would. Alright, let's just, we could just use, um, not reward equal args, and then one, and just use that. Uh, okay. Giveaway. Giveaway. Account. Huh. That's kind of, oh, you didn't restart. Uh, now it should work. Alright, and then over here, giving away, and we can react to it. So, I'm gonna work like on a reaction system to where it picks a random person. I'm not really done with it, but when you do it for yourself, just try to pick one from the reactions thing, and it should be good. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna probably be doing. Oh, yeah, it also sent uh, everyone, by the way. So. I'm gonna be doing like um I might in the next like episode I might be doing a command handler. Tell me if you guys like wanna see that. What a command handler is is if I like create a new file, name it commands, right? Rename Okay. Rename commands. Right. So wait, this is not even a file. Okay. Sorry about that. We're gonna make a new folder and name it commands. And then if we create a new file in here and then name it for example uh band.js. So then we would just put like every single command in a different file. It actually makes your bot faster and it pretty much is like a, a lot like way easier to get like around with your bot. So like if you wanna edit a command you just know where to go instead of scrolling like everywhere. Um and index so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys later peace